Hi there, uh, are you alright guys? Uh, yeah, so my name's Steve, I'm the Huddersfield Town fan for the West Yorkshire Football Show. Um, yeah, hope you're uh, hope you're all doing well. We're just here to review the game at the weekend, obviously a 1-1 draw with Bristol City. Uh, a team that Town normally uh, don't do bad against. Um, we don't have many exciting games though, to be fair. Um, yeah, a decent, uh, a, a decent performance overall. Uh, a goal that was on the break from Kasumu, and he passed it to Delano Bergzog, who put the, the town one nil up. Um, but then Bristol City scored immediately, um, just sort of after half time, and yeah, Bristol City really controlled the game from there on. Um, has been the case with most of Darren Moore's fixtures in charge so far, where Town have had the least possession, uh, least shots on goal, least shots on target, uh, least corners, um, but somehow get a result. Um, obviously, we've had a decent week overall with the draw against Southampton, the win against Sunderland, and then the draw against Swansea. Five points picked up in three games and another point picked up. Um, Town have got, I think, nine draws now uh, so far. So we are a bit of a draw specialist at the moment. Still fourth in the t um Not fourth in the table, I wish we were fourth. Fourth from bottom, um, which is a bit concerning because QPR and Sheffield Wednesday have both picked up wins in the last week and obviously their new managers have, you know, got starting to get their plans in place. And, you know, we've not really seen the, the manager bounce from Darren Moore at the moment. Obviously, it was very negative a couple of weeks ago. And it and it is positive, more positive. But, you know, we're still seeing a very defensive display, just getting through games, to be honest. And we're limping towards January transfer window. We've got Preston uh, on Tuesday, which is tomorrow night, depending on when this video goes out. Um, a team that has dropped off slightly, to be honest. Uh, they started the season really well, but I think things have c caught up with them. They haven't got the squad depth uh, to mount a proper challenge at the top of the table uh, or a playoff place, to be honest. So, you know, they've been in a bad run of form and hopefully we can get uh, three points on Tuesday. It's a must need a win, really, that we need to get. And it's something that... You know, I think we just need a better performance from the lads. Um, you know, get the crowd up. Be you know, try and be exciting. The couple of breaks that we did have against Bristol City, you know, were really exciting. But we need more of that. And I just think we sometimes look a bit slow, sluggish on the ball, and that's something Darren needs to pick. The bench was very young again against Bristol City, and uh, not much experience on there. Just shows the lack of depth that the, that we have, and that needs to be sorted in January. Um, one person in particular that's disappointed me so far is Ben Wiles coming for, you know, quite a significant fee, or that's what the club said, um, from Rotherham in the summer, and you know he's been injured, he's been in and out of the team, he's not been informed, doesn't look fit to me, um, and so you know he needs to do a lot better. Yeah, he's doing a job on the pitch, but that's all he's doing. He's just filling a gap. So we need a better performance out of him. Jack Rodone will be good to get back. There are players slowly coming back, but then there's more getting injured. So, you know, it's 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 difficult for Darren. I do accept that it is a difficult job for him at the moment. But I I kind of need more from him on the touchline, to be honest. Uh, I know you don't have to be a jumping around crazy type of manager, but, you know, a bit of energy. There's no energy on the touchline, and he, he needs to, to, to show a little more. And please start going around clapping the fans. I I know people don't think it will make a difference at the end, and you know obviously he's had some criticism uh, early on in his town tenure, but you know we do pay our money, um, and and to come and watch the team, and and you know when they're not putting in fantastic performances or being entertained, it's a lot of money to to cough out. So you know the least you could do is go around and you know thank the fans at the end of the game for coming. So please start doing that, Darren. Uh, otherwise you'll never get a, an emotional connection to um, the supporters but yeah apart from that I understand the difficult position he's been in it'll be interesting to see who we bring in in January like I said pressing up on Tuesday uh, I'll go for a 2-1 winter town because I try and keep positive and let's let's see where we get to all right thanks for listening guys I hope you have a great uh, rest of the week it's nearly Christmas so yeah cheers bye bye